Blinken's agenda this week, it's a, it's, it's a pre-clarion call of European and global politic before he gets to Russia. What does he want to put in his gun as he sits down at the table with Lavrov? Yeah, we're seeing, uh, Mattis, what could amount to the last big diplomatic push um, to, to avert war. Um, so we see that uh, Tony Blinken is scheduled to arrive in Ukraine today, um, and he'll be meeting with the Ukrainian President Zelensky and the country's foreign minister. Uh, then he's scheduled to go tomorrow to Germany um, and meet in Berlin with the German foreign minister, Annalena Baerbock. Uh, and then after that, uh, it's off to Switzerland uh, and to the meeting in Geneva with uh, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, uh, the culmination of this uh, week of diplomacy for, for Tony Blinken. Uh, and um, uh, the State Department is saying the fact that they're having this meeting shows that there's still a possibility that diplomacy can resolve the crisis. I mean, there is a lot of potential diplomacy that the U.S. And, and other nations need to deal with. A lot of geopolitical tensions, it feels like, cropping up. Bruce, what else is happening on the diplomatic front? So in addition to all of the, um, uh, the travels of Tony Blinken, uh, we know that the German foreign minister, uh, Annalena Baerbach, whom he's meeting uh, tomorrow, um, she had a meeting with uh, Russian foreign minister Lavrov uh, yesterday um, in which uh, she warned him about how Germany might um, uh, retaliate against the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline, uh, which um, uh, Russia uh, wants to see activated. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's one thing that's that that the United States and its allies are holding out there as a possible um, retaliation. Uh, we also know that the President Biden uh, had a meeting on Tuesday with the Finnish president, Nenistu, um, which is significant because the Finnish president is said to um, have close ties with Vladimir Putin. So that might be a way for um, the, the two presidents to be communicating with so what do we know of the latest preparedness for war by Russia? We've had this number, 100,000 troops amassing on the borders, equipping separatists. What's the next peg that, we've, that, that we have, the next evidential peg that we have that Russia is preparing for war? Well, um, while all this diplomatic activity is taking place, um, the United States is saying that they're seeing further uh, further indications that the Russians are indeed preparing uh, for an invasion. And the latest is that uh, a U.S. State Department official uh, tells reporters that uh, it seems that the Russians are now moving troops into Belarus, um, which could then become a new front for an invasion. So you would have invasions um, from um, from essentially from three sides on, into Ukraine. Uh, so another indication that even as uh, diplomacy is still uh, going on, that uh, the United States and its allies see that the Russians are right. um, getting ready to, to move ahead with this invasion.